Well, how young is too young to get your children involved in politics? Well, some parents have taken to Facebook to share letters to President-elect Trump written by their children, some of them very, very young. One letter from a five-year-old in Seattle reads this way. Dear President-elect Trump, please be a good president. Be kind to all people. Some people in my family are a special religion, and they are not bad guys. Well, joining me now is that child's mother, Molly Spence Sahajami, who started the viral Facebook group. Molly, thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Um, Hi, so thank you so much. I, I'm not disagreeing with you on the substance of this. Uh, by the way, I'm for kindness, of course. Um, but I'm concerned <laughs> that kids at that age are too young to participate in politics for two reasons. One, to be blunt, they don't yeah. know anything about it, but also because politics is a tough world. And once you get your child into that world, you know, you expose him to things that kids shouldn't be exposed to. Are you concerned about that? Well, I am really concerned that this election was quite a bit different than all other elections. And I am concerned that kids got exposed to all of this. Um, I think it's naive to think that our kids are in a bubble. Um, and Donald Trump in particular, he's a very charismatic person. His face was everywhere and really hard to avoid for months and months and months. And he says things in a very simple way that's easy for kids to understand. And he often says things that are easy to identify as unkind and inflammatory. So to me, this isn't really about politics so much as kids being exposed to this persona and having questions about him. But, but you know exactly, I mean, I have a ton of children, and so I've, I watch this firsthand a lot. Yeah. They go to school, and their teachers are 100% against Trump, and a lot of them are emotionally incontinent. They can't control themselves. And they expose our children to their political views, and they scare the hell out of the kids in doing that. So shouldn't our anger be directed at them? How irresponsible is it for a teacher to impose this crap on children? Yeah, what I've heard about a lot in particular in this election is playground talk. And I think that's so interesting because, again, how unusual is that? When I was a kid on the playground, we talked about other things that I think could probably use some parental context. But as I started this group and had all of these people joining with kids of different ages, they said my kids would come home and they talked about Trump on the playground and they had fears about him. Some of them were irrational and they needed some parental context and needed to be calmed down. And some were based on things that, that he actually did say. So I think that in starting this, this Facebook group that I started, which is Dear President Trump, Letters from Kids About Kindness, it's been a really good opportunity for kids and parents to sit down together and talk about kindness and what that means to them. But it's not just, I mean, look, I'm totally to for positive. kindness. No, and I'm, I'm totally yeah. for that. Like, who's <laughs> against kindness and, and being positive? Here's one of the letters on right. the site. Dear Mr. Trump, kids in my class are very scared. Please don't kick them out. In my school, we get sent to the wall when we're in trouble. My friends did not do anything wrong. Don't send them to the wall. Love, Abby, age six. Not really about kindness. Right. It's about policy. And should six-year-olds right. really be making policy recommendations? That just seems wrong to me. <sighs> Right. To me, that would be that's a moment for some parental context to be given. And so that's a moment where if my child were to write that letter and I would see that, I would say, wow, let's let's sit down and talk about this. I mean, I think that whether the letters are right or wrong um, is irrelevant here. I think what's what's interesting to see in these letters is this is a reflection of what kids are thinking right now. Yeah. And so what, what does shame. that mean for us as parents? Yeah, what does that mean for us as parents? It means we ought to raise them in a bubble to the extent we can. Take their stupid phones away. Just my view. Molly, we're out of time. <laughs> I appreciate talking to you. And right. uh, I think your intentions are good. So it's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.